Okay. Age, name, where are you from? Uh, my name is Shelby Sanders. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am 25 years old. And how long have you worked in a tattoo shop, and what is your position? I've been with Seven for a year and a handful of months. Uh, it's the only tattoo shop I've ever worked in, and I am the shop apprentice. Nice. And what is the first tattoo that you remember that really sparked your interest in them? Hmm. Um, the first tattoo I ever even saw was definitely my brother's tattoo. Uh, he's like 12 years older than I am. So I was very young when I saw this tattoo and it was just like a giant black cross on his shoulder. And I was so intrigued by the fact that like his arm was just different for forever. And I was very, very little. And so that's the first tattoo I remember seeing. As far as like the one that got me interested was probably some realism piece, but I couldn't tell you which was the first. And what made you consider being a tattoo artist? So I've always really been into art and my dad taught me from a very young age to mix passion and work and then you would never work a day in your life. And so I've always strived to make that my goal. I wanted to be a painter, but there's like no money in painting. So <clears throat> I decided to cut that off the list and figure out another route. And then I realized like, oh, I could be a tattoo artist. And so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of taking your dad's advice and all that, how did your parents take you become, wanting to become a tattooer and actually now working in the shop itself? So my parents were not stoked. Like everyone I knew was stoked because everyone that I knew like understood how badly I wanted to be here and like how big of a dream it was for me. <laughs> and my parents were just thinking that I was gonna be some hoodlum like in and out of jail, drug dealer person, or whatever they thought I was gonna end up doing. Uh, just cause they honestly are older people, they're in their 70s at this point, and had a different view on tattoos. They were raised in a different era. And it wasn't really until they saw my dedication and my commitment to my apprenticeship that they started taking it seriously and then they came in to visit Seven and see it in person for themselves and saw the artwork that all of our people were putting out and then they really started to appreciate it and are like my biggest fans at this point. <laughs> The industry's definitely changed to where now you show someone it's presented in such a different way. Oh yeah, it's so different now. It's just growing and growing. And do you have any tattoos yourself? I do. Oh. <laughs> so I just gave myself a tattoo today. It's a little S, like the ones that you draw the three lines and then the other three lines that you yep. attach them. I put one of those on my ankle literally just a few hours ago. Um, I have a big forearm piece by Miguel Camarillo. And then I have a couple little finger fingers. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? Dang. I think I was maybe 22. Yeah. 22? 22. And is there a defined style or a certain um, sort of style that you want to aim at? To mm, I always thought that I was going to be a black and gray realism artist. And I still do think that I will be a realism artist. Um, but it, only since being in the industry and really, really like getting out of my comfort zone have I just had an eye for neo-traditional and I would love to like really become a neo-traditional artist. Neo-traditional, nice, nice. And if tattooing wasn't an industry and didn't exist, where do you think you would be doing or where you would want to go in life? I probably would still be a bartender um, just because it's still very much a customer service based job where you get to have a lot of fun and still do a little bit of artistic activities like making drinks and yeah, probably just still there. Full bar tattoo. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get how did you get your foot into the tattoo industry? What was your how did you pursue oh that my one? God. So, bugging and nagging? <laughs> oh yes, poor seven. <laughs> So um, I had been looking for an apprenticeship for a couple of years and I had taken my portfolio door to door, going in and out of shops to just present myself. And then <clears throat> I honestly didn't think Seven was going to be looking for an apprentice, but I said, screw it, I'm just going to give it a shot. And I kept showing my face like 
every other week and just like saying like, hey, I'm here, I really, really wanna work for you. I did that for about an entire year. And then finally, I just got like, okay, like, hey, you start tomorrow. And I was like, oh my God, and I freaked out. I cried for like 25 minutes and just was like, it was just surreal. And I still remember that day, October 10th. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was just totally, totally amazing. And like, looking back on it now, I was just like, I'm so glad that I didn't give up. Cause I had so many people who were like, are you sure you're gonna get it? Like you've been saying you're gonna get this job for so long now and like, just, just, Nah, I was just like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get it, and I did. So thank you, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Is there any advice you'd give to someone who wants to get into the industry? Don't give up, seriously. Like, you need to show whatever shop it is that you're trying to get into, whatever um, mentor you're trying to go after, like you need to show that person that you're committed because an apprenticeship itself is a commitment. So if you can't even like get your foot in the door, then how are you going to survive the apprenticeship? So just don't give up. If it's your passion, it, why wouldn't you just go for it? You know, it's your dream job. Hit that shit. <laughs> Fair enough. So the next one, we're going to be a little more in the rapid fire type situation. So. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, here we go. Black and gray or color? Color. Fine line or bold line? Bold line? Off the top of your head, what are five inspirational tattoo artists for you? Oh my god. James Strickland, he was my favorite. Daniel Rocha, not to stick with seven artists. Um, I really love Thomas Carlier, he's in France. Um, Harrison Tattoos, he's in Australia. Um, and Nolan Wheeler, if I'm gonna stick with color. Did I say him already? I don't even remember. <laughs> Is that five? <laughs> we'll take it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and what are five artists that you would die without on your playlist to listen to? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not like huge on like bands per se. It's mostly songs. Um, mm. So what I have in rotation right now would be I'm God by Clams Casino. Um, Tear Her Apart by She Wants Revenge. Um, Lorne is a band, is a group. Um, they have a song called Acid Rain. If you get a chance to check that shit out, it's so good. Um, let's see, I really love an older album by Underoath. I listen to them on repeat. Um, and honestly, like not to be all like, Scene or whatever. <laughs> the Bring Me the Horizon was a huge impact on my childhood. <laughs> You're already there with Under Oath. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You're probably there too, Metalhead. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching Netflix, what are three shows you're going to binge? I honestly binge animal shows. Like, as weird as that may be, like, I love, love. Um, any kind of like planet Earth or like the cosmos. Right now I'm watching Earth at Night. Um, anything animal related that's like a documentary, I am so down. But what are three? Those are three? Is it two? Okay, let's do one more. Um, a third one would have to be, oh, right now I'm watching um, Weirdest Events on Earth. Very, very interesting show, you should check it out. Perfect, and sweet and sour, sweet or sour? Sour. 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 Well, that finishes that up here. Thank Ooh, you very much. Thank you. All right.